Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'll show you how to work with images to make them more impactful, such as if you have a slide that introduces your team. We'll see how to take something like this, which was made using smart art from PowerPoint, adding some images and a pop of color, and we'll see how to transform it into something more like this, with larger, more impactful images that really make the team front and center. Here in PowerPoint, I'll insert a new slide, You'll see that I don't have any fancy master slides or layouts here. I'm just using the blank presentation that's built in with PowerPoint. I'll select a blank slide, and now we need some images. I've downloaded four images here from Pixabay and Pexels, where you can get free images yourself. Let me select all of these and drag them over to the slide. I'm also going to zoom out just so we can see things more completely here. I'll just kind of move some of the images off to the side. The one that we want to start with on the left of the slide is April here. We'll increase the height of this one to 8 inches. And I'll bring it to the front by right clicking Bring to Front just so we can see what we're working with. Next we want to crop this shape to be that diagonal. So I'll say Crop, Crop to Shape, and it's going to be this one right here, the parallelogram. Next we want to just do a straight up crop to get this size a little narrower. I'll just crop a little bit from each side so that her face is in the center. That looks about right. For width, I'm going to make this an even 4.8 just so we can make the others the same size. And then I'll drop it over here on the left of the slide. If you wanted to, you could crop the bottom of the image as well, but I'm going to leave it as it is in case I need to adjust after I get the other images on there to get all the faces aligned across the slide. All right, we're going to take similar steps with this next picture. We'll do a crop to shape, parallelogram, and then we'll do a straight crop to get this to the same size. I'll try to keep her face in the center as I'm cropping here. And again, we want to get to that same width of 4.8. Okay, there we go. Actually, 4.8. We'll just adjust it there. And then drop this right next to April. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two images here with Jody and Dan, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got all of our images cropped and resized. I am going to adjust just a little bit so that everybody's face is in roughly the same vertical position. Drag these down just a little bit. For Dan's image over on the right, we do have this little bit of slide on the bottom, so we need to nudge this one out just a little bit more, and I'm actually going to enlarge it as well. So it'll be slightly different size than the others, but we want to make sure there's no white on the edge of that slide there. Use my arrow button to nudge it just a little bit more. Jody can also come this way a little bit more. And if you'd like, once you've got everything aligned, you can crop the tops and bottoms of the images. All right, now that we've got all the photos in place, now let's add a shape where we can place people's names. So I'll grab a rectangle shape, just drop it roughly here. For fill, we'll go with a dark gray. No outline, and then if I right-click the shape and say Format Shape, let's go down to Fill, give this a little transparency, maybe 25%. There we go. And now we need to drop the names in. So I'll insert text box. Just kind of eyeball this one here. This is April. And April is our program manager. Center this. Make it white just to make it pop a little bit. And then we'll increase the size of the name. Make that a size 24. Okay, kind of center that over her picture. And then I'll copy and paste this and update it for the others. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Everybody's got their name and title displayed now, and I adjusted some of the pictures just a little bit to get things to align better. Let's view this in slideshow mode. I think that's looking pretty good. So there you have it. That's one way that you can take ordinary images and make them more impactful. If you found the content valuable, we always appreciate the likes, subscribes, and shares.